Hi, I'm Casey Tucker, and tonight I'm going to be talking about DIY conservation biology and how that can be used to um, inspire and, and, and encourage more people to contribute to the field of ornithology and the science of conservation. So I uh, am an adjunct, adjunct instructor for biology at Central Ohio Technical College uh, where I teach uh, environmental science, they teach anatomy and physiology, uh, and a number of other courses, general biology. Um, I also have begun a not-for-profit called the American Avian Conservation and Research Institute. And I use that to promote conservation and research, specifically ornithological research in Ohio um, through organize, organizing an annual um, science conference each October. And we hold that conference in Denison, or Denison University in Granville, Ohio. Um, and it really brings together a whole number of different researchers from citizen scientists to undergraduate students to graduate students, even high school students, professional biologists in academia and museums, uh, and even agency biologists. And they get together and we, it's an opportunity to um, share everybody's research and get input on, on projects and connect and network with other researchers. And it's amazing the kind of synergism and um, energy that is generated each October at these meetings. And I, I really encourage you, if you get a chance, to take part in and attend one of these meetings. So one of the things that I do in terms of my own research is that right now I'm looking at a couple projects. Um, one of the projects I'm looking at is the use of ultraviolet signaling as a visual communication tool in common grackles, and in particularly the use of their nictitating membranes as a, as a communication device between grackles or between individuals. Another thing I'm looking at is um, trying to piece together the natural history of the Labrador duck. And so I've actually, uh, it's an extinct species of duck that nobody knows a whole lot about. And so one of the things I've been doing is traveling to different museums in North America. Right now I'm just taking some measurements on the duck, on these different specimens to try to get a better understanding of their biology and their, um, his, their natural history. So.